If you guys know me or if you have started watching the channel, you know that I think that the creative director is one of the most crucial roles in the music industry today. Because of the need for constant high quality visual content across the board, across all different platforms, this is a role that will continue to keep you challenged and inspired. And here are a few steps that I've learned along the way about how to become a creative director in this crazy music industry. Number one, utilize your own creative skill as a way to get your foot in the door. A lot of people come at this from different angles. I got started as a music video director, uh, directed probably over 100 videos. Um, and then I kind of got the bite to do a little bit more. I kind of wanted to be in control of the, the bigger picture, not just for the music video, but for the entire artist's rollout, but for the entire artist's game plan with everything. So I decided to kind of pivot and do more creative direction work than just video work. But if you want to get your foot in the door as a creative director, let's start out, let's just say for the sake of this argument that you are a photographer and you've just booked a shoot with an up and coming artist. Tell the artist or the manager that you would be happy to help them create other visual assets that's in the same style as that photo shoot. Maybe offer to help them design an album cover or an EP cover or single art or a visualizer, but something that plays your strength as a creative and something that falls in line with the same aesthetic and same visual style as the photo shoot that you guys did together. Now, you don't need to work for free, but consider putting some of the money that you made on that photo shoot back into working with these other creatives and, and make something that's bigger than just the photo shoot itself. Do this for like three or four artists and you will have a fantastic starting point for a portfolio as a creative director. Which brings me to number two, your portfolio. Now a creative director's portfolio should be a little more specific than other creators in this field and here's what I mean. When you're looking at a creative director's portfolio, you definitely want to find a common creative thread as it pertains to a certain rollout. So for instance, if you designed an album cover, don't just show off that one album cover. Show off the same typeface that, that was used on ad mats or posters. Show off the same color palette that was used on uh, merch or in a music video. Show off all of the elements that you helped create and that you helped brand. But guys, always keep this in mind. The trademark of a really good creative director is that there is a constant creative theme. There is a constant sense of storytelling, whether it be through typeface, whether it be through colors, whether it be through different textures, there is a common visual theme throughout these elements. Number three, build out your team. Find different creatives all working in different styles and get a dialogue going between you guys. These are the people who you were eventually gonna bring on to certain projects. So get a good sense of work ethic, get a good sense of budget range, their styles, their aesthetics, how quickly they work and they hit deadlines and make sure that they can take your direction. At the end of the day, you are the one who's speaking for the artist. So they need to listen to you and trust that the direction that you are giving them ultimately will make sense in the bigger picture. Because again, the creative director holds the bigger picture in their hand. A lot of the designers, a lot of the music video directors, a lot of photographers don't have that bigger picture info. That is on the creative director. Also, consider talking to other creative directors in the field too. I always make myself available if anybody ever wants to reach out to me on Instagram or email, but you really wanna be networking with other creative directors in the field because you never know when somebody's gonna recommend you for work that they can't take on. Number four, keep an eye on current creative trends that are happening across different genres. The music industry is changing all the time, so make sure that you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening creatively. Because ultimately, that's gonna help you pitch cutting edge ideas that nobody's really doing yet or even talking about yet. And that, my friends, is what makes you a better and more diverse creative. Number five, always promote your work and be sure to have thick skin. There's gonna be a lot of people, guys, who don't understand the type of work that you're trying to do or are doing. There's gonna be a lot of people there's just gonna be a lot of haters out there and not everybody really understands uh, what our job and our role is, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing it. So own up to and learn from your own mistakes and make sure that every project that you take on is better than the one before it. Number six, and my final point here, stay on people's radars. Schedule face-to-face -face meetings whenever possible because they're a great way to remind artists, managers, record labels, and other creatives how seriously you take your job and the kind of value that you can offer to them. All right, there you have it, guys. My top six points for becoming a creative director in this field. If this video was helpful for you, please give me a like, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.